Coach, opening thoughts coming off the court. Well, disappointment. I mean, I, I some things I, I felt good about. I thought all not, now I don't know how many fast break baskets they got against us. I know the first half I don't think they had any. I don't think the second half they had more than maybe one or two at the most, I think. I think we did a pretty good job with that, which with them is really a key factor. Um, we didn't guard the ball one-on-one -on -one situations enough because that's what they're always, their, their style of play is to isolate and penetrate and kick. And, uh, you know, I thought when it, when it was, you know, more than one guy involved, I thought we did a little bit better, actually. You know, sometimes we got hurt trying to get over to the top of screens, and we shouldn't have done that. And, but we, uh, you know, we battled through the whole thing, and we went the duration of the game. You know, and we just said, sorry, you get down 17, 18 points, whatever we were to have to get back. It just, it's a tough situation to be in. Of course, we did battle back, though. I mean, it was that between, like, you know, 13, 17 for almost the entire, hey, midway through the first half into the second. What was different? What was different? Difference once that you guys were able to make that run to cut it to one. Well, I think we started knocking down some shots. I mean, Evan Hansen had a nice offensive, you know, it was good to see him appear because he's, he's got potential to score. And he's been kind of hidden a little bit up till now. And he did a, what was he on the, what was he for the game? Seven for 12. I mean, that's that's a pretty good guy. I'll take that any time from him. And, you know, and Armand Osborne did a real nice job coming off the bench, giving us energy. Um, you know, he's got, he's got some ability and everything. And he just, uh, you know, he really gave us a shot in the arm. I thought uh, Ryan Bifford did a nice job defensively, defensively as Hanson did. Um, you know, and, and our, our, our big guys, Charlie Whittick and, and Mitch, uh, uh, you know, did a nice job. And Will, you know, I mean, nothing was great. We, I mean, we've got to get better defensively overall because we get beat too often. But there were there was some good things to see. Freshman, I mean, obviously they're seeing more minutes as you go along. It's just that time of year now where they've kind of been in the system and seen how Division Three basketball is like where you feel like you can put them out there and they, they can play, give you solid contributions. Well, that's a, that's a key to us, the whole thing. I mean, that's what we're kind of... You know, holding our breath, waiting on them. We've got to continue to learn. You know, and that's not just only the freshmen. Too. I mean, our sophomore, a lot of our sophomores don't have that many minutes in, you know, stockpiled over the, you know, the last two seasons either. So this is, it really is a learning, a learning process for this team. And, and it's important, so important that we do continue to learn and just keep heart and, uh, you know, play with the sense of urgency and, and a focus that we have to have. Which is going to Rockford this weekend now, and you know, a place they're actually giving CUW a good, good run for their money today. I mean, that's never, never a tough place yeah, to play. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I know they're having win loss, they're struggling like us. It's one of those games where you got to go down there and, and just battle like all heck. I mean, that, that'll, that's a big game for us as it is a big game for them. Thank you, Coach.